Hey, Cameron McKenzie here at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to quickly show you how to move files between folders in UiPath. So the first step to moving invoices from one folder to another is to create a project. And I'll call it Move Invoices. And as the project is being created, I'm going to show you here. I've got these three invoices, one, two, three, and they're currently in the Invoices folder. But I actually want to put them into the Move Invoices folder of the UiPath project that I just created. So I'm going to find that Move Invoices folder. And this way, when I upload everything to GitHub, all of the files will be there as well. And I'm going to create a folder here. And I'm going to call this folder Invoices. And then I'm going to create a second folder, and I'm going to call that Processed. And let me see, should I copy Process there, just think I got the spelling right? Okay, so that's the start there. As I said, I've got two folders here inside the project, one called Invoices and one called Processed. And inside that Invoices folder, well, I want to make sure that I've got all of those different invoices. So I'll copy those here. Go back to that folder, and now I've got three invoices in the invoices folder of the project, and I have none in process. So I'll come over here to the open main workflow, and I'm going to loop through each of those files in that folder. And the way that I do it is just coming over into the activities section, and in the activities section, find a for each loop. And I can just say for each file in that directory, and the directory is. Uh, directory.getfiles and the directory that I have locally is invoices. So I'm going to get all the invoices in that folder. Oh, let's get files. <laughs> Got to spell it correctly. There we go. Directory.getfiles invoices. So that's going to get me every file in the directory. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a move. And I'm going to move each of the files. And what you do here is you specify the name of the file and that's done just with the, the two-string method here, right? Because this is going to loop through each of the files. You could hard code the name of the file here if you're just I mean, programming one. But uh, each file in that folder will go through this loop one time. And file contains its name. File.toString just pushes it out. And then all you have to do is specify the destination folder. And the destination folder is processed. Okay. And you got the option to overwrite if the file already exists. Uh, roll your own if uh, that's what you want to do. I'm not going to overwrite that, but I've only got three files in here. And so what that's going to do is it's going to take all of these files that are in this invoices folder and move them into the processes folder. Now, normally you'll do something with it, right? You'll extract some text, you'll do some data scraping, you'll save something to Excel. I've got lots of tutorials that show you how to do that. I just want to focus on the moving the file right now. So everything looks good. I'm going to just click Run. Lickety Split. It's done, and notice all the files have now been moved from that invoices folder into processed. And there you go. That's how easy it is to move files between folders after you've processed them. If you enjoyed this tutorial, head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. If you're interested in my personal antics, follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.